I'm Susie Trammell and I am the manager of Valley Growers. Been doing this for 20 years. <laughs> it's what I grew up doing from the time I was six years old. So it's all I know. So I grew up in Pall Mall, Tennessee. My father was an engineer for TVA and he worked on greenhouses or ways for farmers to make money other than growing tobacco because tobacco was going out. So one of the things he studies was greenhouse production. So we moved back to our family farm in Pall Mall and he started with one greenhouse. We now have 65 greenhouses. So from the time I was six, I've pretty much been in a greenhouse. Grew up on a farm, wouldn't change a thing about it. Grew up in plants, came to MTSU and got my degree in horticulture. Started a garden center in Las Casas 20 years ago. And so we leased this property. So I still have one in Las Casas and I've had this one for I think eight years now. We start way out by the road, we do our shrubs. So we carry a wide variety. We do like your basics, just your foundation plantings. And then we have a lot of odd, you know, trees and specimen plants. And then you come in and we have a lot of perennials out here, um, small fruit, we have fruit trees, vegetables. In here is mainly like the tropicals, the pretties, the foliage plants, that kind of thing. And then we do ferns and annuals and perennials. Annuals you have to plant every year, perennials you plant once and they come back every year. We'll do anything. I do containers for customers. We walk them around, show them how to do their containers. We'll do, if they bring in pictures, we'll show them what to plant. We identify plants for them, replace plants. We do about anything. There's not much we won't do. People call me the container queen because it's what I've done for a long time. I love putting plants together. I love mixing colors. I just love mixing plants. I love pots, I love pottery. Obviously I love turquoise. You'll see a lot of turquoise here. Making things pop off of each other, different container colors, making the plant look good. So it's kind of been my niche for a really long time. We're considered an essential business because we do grow and sell our own vegetable plants and that's been huge right now. We've been extremely busy. We've had to up our vegetable. Of course, my father grows our vegetables back home. And so I'm like, you need to keep growing, keep growing. Because <laughs> he sets a goal, but we've had to up the goal. Um, so we've had to adapt to that. Um, but other than that, it's kind of business as usual. We're just trying to make sure everybody's safe you know, keep us, I keep people, the only place people really get crowded is up at the register and people have been really good about just stepping back and making space. We have a lot of room here. People are coming in, we've had cold crops and now they're getting their tomatoes, their cucumbers, squash, everything like that. Just people are home now and they have time to do it and I think it's a great thing. We've seen people in here doing gardening that have never done gardening and I don't think, I mean, there's anything better than that, getting your kids out, actually know where a tomato comes from, a pepper, a cucumber, you know, it doesn't grow in a grocery store. So that's been wonderful. And just the therapeutic aspect of, we have people just come in and say, I just needed to see something growing. I just need to be a happy place, peaceful. Nobody's stressed here. It's just, we have a large space. People can stay six feet apart. You know, they can walk around. We just try to provide a place for people to come and just be at peace.